lesson, we are going to be looking at combining the triangles. So, so far we have looked at the mass triangle and the concentration triangle. The story to help us remember this is, my nice granny never cuts violets. If you need a bit of a recap, you can look at the previous videos to show you how to do those. So in today's lesson, we are going to look at a number of past paper questions that ask us to combine the triangles. This first practice question, we are going to be looking at calculating the mass. So the question asks, calculate the mass of solute that needs to be dissolved to make the following solution. We're given 500 centimetres cubed of a one mole per litre potassium hydroxide and the formula is given as KOH solution. So when we're given information about both triangles, we split our page in two and we draw both triangles out. Remember, my nice granny never cuts violets. Step number one, underneath the appropriate triangle, we are going to write what the question is actually asking us to work out. In this case, it wants us to work out the mass. So underneath the mass triangle, we write M is equal to N times GFM. We look at the information that's given in the question. Have we been given the number of moles? No, we've not. Have we been given the gram formula mass? No, but we have been given a formula, which means that we can calculate the gram formula mass. How many potassiums do we have? We have one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 39. One times 39 equals 39. Oxygen, how many do we have in the formula? We've got one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. One times 16 equals 16. Hydrogen, how many do we have in the formula? We've got one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is one. One times one equals one. When we add those up, we get a GFM of 56 grams. We can substitute that into our formula. To complete that triangle, we would need to have the number of moles. We don't have that, so we have to use our concentration triangle to be able to calculate the number of moles. So underneath the concentration triangle, we'll write N is equal to C times V. The concentration we've been given in the question is one mole per liter, so we can substitute that in. The volume we've been given is 500 centimeters cubed. That's not in the appropriate unit, so we have to do a unit conversion. One litre is equal to a thousand centimetres cubed. Same unit, same side. So we pop the 500 underneath the thousand centimetres cubed. We do our cross multiplication. One times 500 divided by a thousand gives us 0 0.5 litres. We can substitute that in. One times 0 0.5 gives 0 0.5 moles. We can now take that number of moles that we've calculated and substitute it into our final equation, which means that the mass is equal to 0 0.5 times 56. When you put that into your calculator, you get a mass of 28 grams. Second worked example wants us to calculate the mass of solute that needs to be dissolved to make the following solution. 300 centimetres cubed of a 0 0.05 mole per litre sodium hydroxide solution and the formula is given as NaOH. We have to write down both triangles. Remember, my nice granny never cuts violets. What does the question want us to calculate? It wants us to calculate the mass. So underneath that triangle, we write the formula mass is equal to number of moles times gram formula mass. We've not been given a number of moles in the question, but we have been given a formula which will allow us to calculate the gram formula mass. How many sodiums do we have in the formula? We've got one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 23. One times 23 equals 23. Oxygen. How many do we have in the formula? We've got one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. One times 16 equals 16. Hydrogen, how many do we have in the formula? We have one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is one. One times one equals one. When we add those up, we get a GFM of 40 grams. 
we can substitute that into the formula. For us to complete that formula, we have to calculate the number of moles. This is where we have to use the other triangle. Number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. The concentration that we've been given in the question is 0 0.05 mole per litre. The volume we've been given is 300 centimetres cubed. That's not in the right unit, so we have to do a unit conversion. One litre is equal to 1,000 centimetres cubed. Same unit, same side. We put the 300 underneath the 1,000 centimetres cubed. We do our cross multiplication. 1 times 300 divided by 1,000 gives us 0 0.3 litres. We can substitute that in. So the number of moles is equal to 0 0.05 times 0 0.3, which equals 0 0.015 moles. We can substitute that into our final equation. So mass is equal to 0 0.015 times 40, which equals 0 0.6 grams. So here are two more examples for you to have a go at. Um, if you want, you can pause the video and when you're ready, the answers will pop up on the screen. <laughs> Questions from the National 5 2019 written 12A part 2. A student carried out a titration experiment to calculate the concentration of a solution of hydrochloric acid. Calculate the mass in grams of sodium carbonate, the formula is given as Na2CO3, required to prepare 200 centimetres cubed of a 1 mole per litre solution. Show your working clearly. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to write down both triangles. Remember, my nice granny never cuts violets. What's the question wanting us to work out? It wants to work out the mass. So we write out the formula underneath the appropriate triangle and we write mass is equal to number of moles times gram formula mass. Have we been given the number of moles in the question? No. Have we been given a formula to calculate the gram formula mass? Yes. So the gram formula mass, we have to calculate for Na2CO3. How many sodiums do we have in the formula? We've got 2 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 23. 2 times 23 equals 46. Carbon, how many do we have in the formula? We have 1 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 12. 1 times 12 equals 12. Oxygen, how many do you have in the formula? You've got 3 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. 3 times 16 equals 48. When you add all of those up, you get a GFM of 106 grams. You can substitute that in to the formula. To complete that formula, we have to calculate the number of moles. Number of moles is equal to C times V. The concentration we've been given in the question is 1. The volume which we've been given in the question is 200 centimetres cubed. That's not in the, in the appropriate unit, so we have to do a unit conversion. 1 litre is equal to 1,000 centimetres cubed. Same unit, same side. We put the 200 underneath the 1,000 centimetres cubed and we do our cross multiplication. 1 times 200 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.2 litres. We can substitute that in. So the number of moles is equal to 1 times 0 0.2, which equals 0 0.2 moles. We can substitute that into our final equation. Mass is equal to 0 0.2 times 106, which equals 21.2 grams. This time I'm going to go through some worked examples for us to calculate the concentration using both triangles. So the question asks us to calculate the concentration of the following solution. When we have 21 grams of potassium hydroxide, the formula is given as KOH and it is dissolved in 500 centimetres cubed of water. The first thing that we have to do is write down both triangles. 
My nice granny never cuts violets. The question wants us to calculate the concentration. So underneath that triangle, we write C is equal to N divided by V. We've not been given the number of moles, but we have been given the volume. However, it is not in the appropriate unit, so we have to do a unit conversion. One litre is equal to a thousand centimetres cubed. Same unit, same side. We pop the 500 underneath the thousand and we do a cross multiplication. One times 500 divided by a thousand gives us 0 0.5 litres. We can substitute that into the formula. Because we don't have the number of moles, that means we have to calculate the number of moles of the other triangle. Number of moles is equal to mass divided by GFM. The mass we've been given in the question is 21 grams. We have got a formula in the question which allows us to calculate the gram formula mass. How many potassiums have we got? We've got one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 39. One times 39 equals 39. Oxygen, how many do we have? We have one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. One times 16 equals 16. Hydrogen, we have one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is one. One times one equals one. When we add those up, we get a GFM of 56. We can substitute that in. So the number of moles is equal to 21 divided by 56, which gives us 0 0.375 moles. We pop that into our final equation. So the concentration is equal to 0 0.375 divided by 0 0.5, which would give us a concentration of 1.33 moles per litre. This question wants us to calculate the concentration of the following solution. We have four grams of sodium hydroxide. The formula is given as NaOH and it's dissolved in 300 centimetres cubed of water. We have to do our preparation. My nice granny never cuts violets. The question wants us to calculate the concentration. So underneath the concentration triangle, we write C is equal to N divided by V. We've not been given the number of moles, but we have been given 300 centimetres cubed. That volume is not in the appropriate unit, so we have to do a unit conversion. One litre is equal to a thousand centimetres cubed. Same unit, same side. We pop the 300 directly underneath the thousand centimetres cubed. We do our cross multiplication. One times 300 divided by a thousand gives us 0 0.3 litres. We can substitute that in. We need to calculate the number of moles of the other triangle. Number of moles is equal to mass divided by GFM. The mass we've been given in the question is 4 grams. The gram formula mass, well, we've been given a formula which will allow us to calculate the gram formula mass. Sodium, how many do we have in the formula? We have 1 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 23. 1 times 23 equals 23. Oxygen, how many do we have? We have 1 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. 1 times 16 equals 16. Hydrogen, how many do we have in the formula? We have 1 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 1. 1 times 1 equals 1. When we add those up, we get a GFM of 40 grams. We can substitute that in. Number of moles is equal to 4 divided by 40, which gives us 0 0.1. Substitute that into our final equation. Concentration is equal to 0 0.1 moles divided by 0 0.3 litres, which gives us a concentration of 0 0.33 moles per litre. Again, here are two examples for you to have a go at. So if you want to pause the video and when you are ready, you can press resume and the answers will pop up on the screen. <laughs> from the National 5 2015 written 7b. 
the student found that a 100 centimetres cubed solution contained 3.19 grams of copper 2 sulfate and the formula is given as CuSO4. Calculate the concentration of the solution in moles per litre. Show you're working clearly. The first thing that we have to do is draw out both triangles. Remember, my nice granny never cuts violets. The question wants us to calculate the concentration. So we'll write C is equal to N divided by V. We've not been given the number of moles in the question, but we have been given a volume. The volume in the question is 100 centimetres cubed. It's not in the appropriate unit, which means we have to do a unit conversion. One litre is equal to 1,000 centimetres cubed. Same unit, same side. We pop the 100 underneath the 1,000. We do our cross multiplication. One times 100 divided by 1,000 gives us 0 0.1 litres. We have to calculate the number of moles of the other triangle. Number of moles is equal to mass divided by GFM. The mass we've been given in the question as 3.19. The gram formula mass we have to calculate, but we've been given a formula to be able to do that. Copper, how many do we have in the formula? We have one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 63.5. One times 63.5 equals 63.5. Sulfur, how many do we have in the formula? We have 1 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 32. 1 times 32 equals 32. Oxygen, how many do we have in the formula? We have 4 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. 4 times 16 equals 64. When we add those up, we get a GFM of 159.5. We substitute that into our formula. So number of moles is equal to 3.19 grams divided by 159.5, which gives us 0 0.02 moles. We can substitute that into our final calculation. So concentration is equal to 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.1, which gives us a concentration of 0 0.2 moles per litre.